If you work in any trade, which involves the installation of cables, at some time or another, you're gonna to have to get them through a wall. And it's not always the easiest of jobs, especially if there's a cavity. In this video, I wanna introduce you to a tool which provides a quick and easy solution. Now let's have a look at a practical example. Now here, we're gonna install an outside light. As you can see, I've marked the position of it, and I'm actually gonna drill from the outside in. Now the reason for this, this is face brickwork, and if I drill from the inside out, obviously I can break this out and finish up with a big hole here, so we don't wanna do that. Also, I am gonna drill at an angle going up, because obviously moisture won't travel uphill, and we don't wanna get any moisture in the dwelling. Right, now I've finished drilling the hole, and as you know, it went up at an angle. If we actually look round at this cavity here, you can see exactly what I've done. I've gone up at an angle like that, drilled through, but now I've got a problem getting the cable through. Now, quite often I've got to go through that skin there, that skin there, and the insulation in the middle. I've seen electricians use coat hangers to do this and get in all sorts of trouble. But there is a product on the market which is absolutely ideal for it. It's called Magnamole, and I'll show you how it's used. What we in fact do, we push that up this way, and that's got a magnet on the end. So in fact, I'll do that, and then we're gonna show you exactly how we're gonna use it, and we'll push the cable through very easy. Now here we are inside the building. As you can see, there's the holder drilled through, and there's the Magnamole poking through. Now what I've got to do is attach one of these caps onto the end of the cable. Very simple. Push that on there, twist it on, and there it is joined. Now this is in fact for one mil cable, but it does come in a whole range of sizes, as you can see here. And even in fact, if you had a bigger cable, you could strip some of the cores off and you could use one of these for that. Now all I've got to do now is to put that to there. And you can see, look, that's a very, very strong magnet. Poke the cable through. Right, now that's the cable through. Disconnect that from there. Unscrew the magnet, because obviously it can be used over and over again. We'll put a knot in the cable so it can't get pulled back. And that's the job finished very easy. So we saw how easy Magnamol was to use in a standard house build. But what about if you're dealing with thicker walls? Well, there's a couple of options here. First and foremost, Magnamol comes with extensions. So you just would just push that through there like that. Go around the other side to the other room, outside or inside, wherever it is. Join your cable on like so. Push your cable through. Back round there. And there it is, your cable's through. I've just done it by myself. This would normally be a job for two of you, or you'd spend a long time trying to get that through there. Alternatively, because of the magnets, it's also possible to get the cable and the magnamole to meet in the middle. Right, now let's actually see what happens in the cavity when we use the magnamole in this way. Now in this shot, I'm not actually gonna touch the magnamole at all. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push the cable through and I'm doing it very gently. Right, now you can see, see that? See that's the, the magnets start begin to react. Push it a little bit further. Look at the strength of those magnets. Now here's a scenario which I'll come across a lot of times. I want to get a cable from this wall through to that wall. The trouble is there's a window in the way. Now I can't drill through the window, so alternatively I'm going to prove to you that Magnamol doesn't have to work in straight lines. What I've done, I've drilled a hole through there into the cavity, I've drilled a hole through that side into the cavity. So look, if I poke that through there now, Roughly, I feel that it's about halfway through into the cavity. And I feel that the cable and the magnamole have joined. So basically, what I need to do now, push that through there like that. And there we are. Now, how quick and easy was that? If 
But I must remind you that the magnum mold is used as a push tool, not a pull tool. Now, I don't know if the manufacturers have thought about this, but I've actually thought of another use. Look, if you lose yourself a screwdriver. And talking to screwdrivers, screwdrivers, pliers, hammers. They're tools that electricians use every day. The magnum mold is not a tool you're going to use every day. But every time you use this tool, it's going to save you time. If it's saving you time, it's saving you money. And it's also worth saying, it comes with its own SDS bit. Electricians, you can't afford to be without one of these. See you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.